Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and continue working on our tower defense project. Now, if you look at this picture right here, this is something known as Git, and it is a version control thing. Now, I was working on this project on my own time, and if you notice, I made a lot of these comments. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to take you through what I did in order to make my boomerang work. So if I go ahead and click play with what I currently have, and you can kind of see the code that goes behind it. It's a lot. Um, you can see that we can move our marker. And it's not quite done, but I'm going to go ahead and explain what I've done all the way up until now. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and we noticed our um, boomerang makes kind of a elliptical sh shape. So if we look at that. All right. It's elliptical. Or maybe circular. But we can uh, we can modify that later. And I went ahead and tried to look for tutorials and videos for making that kind of motion. So there are busy curves, which I've worked with before. But then I was like, no, there should be something easier. So I looked in GDevelop because, you know, if someone has already programmed it, why should we program it ourselves? And I was looking at all these examples, and I think one of them was parabolic motion, shoot bullet in parabola. That I looked at. Let me see. Shoot bullet in parabola, this one. And if we look, so it kind of has sort of motion. And we could have used that one, but I tried working with it and it wasn't the best. So then I went ahead and tried this one, move objects in circle. And if we look here, move object in circle around some point. And we notice that this one moves in a circle. This one, I changed the code to move in a more elliptical pattern. All right, this one, notice they had the same revolution time. This one, exact same X and Y. This is a circle. I think this was the original before I played around with it. And this one is, they had the same elliptical or revolution time, but this one's moving in an oval. So then what I did is I looked at the code and then I went ahead and tried um, saving it and downloading the game file. You can do that and then you can open it up and we'll get started. So let's go ahead, download that. I went ahead and downloaded it into my um, tower defense project where I have it saved. and so forth, you can do the same thing, and you can open it up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Mm. Maybe we don't have it, let's see. Let's go ahead and download that. Save it, download game file. Let's go ahead and I'm just gonna put it on my um, desktop. There it is. Let's open up another version of GDevelop. Wait for it to load. Open a project. Find the project you downloaded. I saved it on desktop. Game.json. Alright, here we go. And we can see this is exactly what we saw online, but the text is a little bit worse. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and change some of the values. So let's go ahead and just play with it. Uh, what if I make this larger? What happens? Well, it circles faster, okay. And what if I change 
this x and y, or a distance. What if I make it 200? Okay, oh, it's a lot bigger. Okay, so that looks like it's the radius of the circle. What if I change this? What if I make, uh, so 100, 200, what if I make it the same? Okay, so I think that also determines the radius. Now you might be wondering to yourself, where did they get this equation from? What is 400 plus this value, 300 plus this value? Well, this is a pre-cal concept. Um, and I have a documentation. Rotating ellipse, uh, not quite rotating. But if you look at a parametric equation, Maybe not here. All right. <coughs> so the parametric equation of an ellipse uh, centered at zero, zero is so forth. And if we were to get a, if we were to add an um, x and y to offset it from the center, then we do plus x plus y. So if we look at this equation, if we compare it to this equation, well, 200, 200, that's the radius um, in the x and y, major radius, minor radius. And we have cosine of this angle, sine of this angle. And if we look here, we have cosine of an angle, sine of an angle. And then if we want to offset it from the center, from the origin, zero, zero, then we add on that offset. So that's where all this stuff comes from. Um, in the next video, we'll go ahead and explore more into making this our own.